Radio Shouty. Okay, Adrenaline Rush, Twister, putting that album together, man. What was that like, hooking up with the legendary trackster, getting busy? It was it was a new star. You know, I had put a, a previous project out, mm -hmm. and so Adrenaline Rush was like almost like 10 years later. So, yeah, yeah. I, so running, album, running off at the mouth was 10 years prior to... Yeah. So what was it like waiting 10 years to come out with Adrenaline Rush then? Well, it wasn't no wait. We was trying to make it happen. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, it took 10 years to get on up in there like we needed to. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, but by that time I had, you know, refined mind state, refined rap style. So when we got in, we knew what we wanted. You know, okay. it, it was my second time doing it on that level. So I kind of knew where I wanted to take the music, and it was fun. So now coming off of that pole pimping with Do or Die, how high was your buzz going into that album with that song already going crazy? It was crazy. It was real crazy. Like the pole pimp, that whole vibe, like once we did that record, that's when I really got a chance to experience the music business or being a celebrity on a different level. Okay. So so Pope Pimp is like one of my favorite records. Like I said, I understood what a hit was. I understood <laughs> that Oh, DJs get real cool and friendly when you when you got a jam. Oh yeah, that was a jam. Did if it's jamming, man. I'm talking mm -hmm. about ooh, but uh, yeah, it, it was it was dope, man. Like like making that album was, mm -hmm. was a, a, a great process, a beautiful time in my life, and like I said, I was refined mind state lyrically, and from that point on, that's how I was able to go kamikaze every project after and still keep it on that level. Exactly. Songs like Overdose, man, when you just had to snap all the way to the very end of that motherfucker, what was it like jamming on that? And did you feel like you was blacking out on every damn track? Some of them. I knew around the time I was writing Adrenaline Rush, you weren't finna fuck with me. <laughs> I'm, I'm keeping it real. When I was writing Adrenaline Rush, yeah. I was in my zone. I, I used to tell the homies, like, he didn't know, but I used to tell uh, some of my guys around like, man, I'm finna kill him. I was like, man, this song here, ain't nobody fucking with this song. Doing stuff like that. Like Overdose, I think, I wrote that to a CD that was put in a video game. I think PlayStation, some game we had, and I was letting yeah. it play over and over. So I wrote I wrote Overdose while it was playing in the video game. My God. So yeah. now, you sitting over there jamming, but you was a player and a pimp at the same time. <laughs> what was it that kept you from going the gangster route <laughs> with everybody else? And really? then with Chicago being a real right. trio place to live at the same time, how did the people recept or uh, receive the music that y'all were putting out when it was, you know, it was we related to it because you know Southern playlist to Cadillac music. We were some players down here, so we was right. like, okay, y'all right. playing up there right. too. We with it. So what was that like dropping that? Well, you gotta remember. The greatest pimp, Bishop Magic Wand, <laughs> is from Chicago. Facts, you know, facts, so facts, we used to ride down yeah. the street and see the bishop and get out the car and talk with Bishop. Oh my god. You know, god. so the whole vibe came from the streets we was living and we was seeing it. Mm -hmm. You know, so with 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 Adrenaline Rush, with that whole album, the way I used to rap at first was from the essence of where rap first started. Mm -hmm. More East Coast orientated, mm -hmm. more lyrical, being an MC in a certain way. Mm -hmm. But then I started feeling like I wasn't getting accepted a certain way. Mm -hmm. So one day, especially like after I, I got dissed, I think Tretch dissed me one time. Oh. I was getting dissed and I made up my mind. I said, you know what? From now on, every rhyme I write is about to be for my hood, for Ooh. my streets. For, and that's where Adrenaline Rush came from. Yeah. Was my decision to not rap for another town. Let me rap for Chicago. 